before, but up in here, um, I cured all those uh, saplings, which will be used to make arrows. And I still have a bunch of hide and gut. Um, so when I was uh, playing, replaying through those uh, past couple of in-game days, I uh, wanted to go. I know in uh, my last video I had made a couple uh, snares and had set them out in this one area that has a common rabbit run uh, right across from the uh, camp office. I'm going to head there now, uh, but in my restarted playthrough, like so yesterday in-game, uh, I guess I left them out there too long, and all four of them, all three of them were broken. Uh, when that happens, uh, I think it happens when you leave them out there too long. It means a rabbit got caught in, it, it either got away, or a uh, wolf came and uh, eat the caught rabbit and destroyed the snare. So anyway, your snares can break. Um, so I went, I had to break them down into the components because uh, you can't just fix them. You lose your gut and you get to, you get your wood back and I went and rebuilt the three ones that were broken and made a new one and then I went out and set four traps or four snares right over here. So in the game when you see an area with uh, rabbits um, and you want to do some snaring, some trapping, uh, just look at where they hang out. Um, they do tend to follow a path which are called runs um, and it's a place that uh, rabbits frequent in their travels. So let's see, now that looks like it's got a rabbit and not just broken. Yes, excellent. I am doing well. Go get the hide, the gut, and all that meat. Excellent, excellent, excellent. So, I'm really glad I uh, laid these out. So you can see I've got the traps sort of in this pattern. I saw the rabbits running along this path. You can see that one down there. It doesn't look like it got anyone though. Um, and then once the trap has been triggered, but it's not broken, I can reset it. Dang it. Let's take it, and then I'm going to go ahead and I will uh, reset it somewhere. I don't see where the uh, rabbits are now, though. Kind of over there, okay? Excellent. We'll be able to make mittens before we uh, move on to the next area. So I'm going to set one right near here. Take it. Uh, we're going to click place. And they all seem to be hanging out around there. So I place that. You place it with your right trigger. These two have not been sprung now, so I'm gonna actually pick it up. Gonna reset it somewhere a little, just a tiny bit different. Like over here. This one. Take it. So right now, we've got him set here and there. Maybe we'll yeah, set another one like over here. Place it sort of there ish. And Let's uh, just kind of double up on the area. All 
Alright, so we set uh, four snares. Again, we caught two uh, rabbits in our first attempt, or our first re-attempt, or our first re-re-attempt. Which is good. I don't think that might be enough. Uh, enough to make the mittens. It might be four rabbit skins to make the mittens. See here, kind of follow your footsteps as long as they're still fresh and it hasn't snowed. Um, your footsteps will stay persistent, and so even if the weather's bad, you can kind of follow them back to where you came from. So, I recently found out some information on how to play the game uh, on the harder levels a little bit better. I uh, want to give a shout out to Splattercat at Splattercat Gaming. Uh, check out his uh, YouTube channel. He's one of the uh, first people I saw play The Long Dark on YouTube, and it really inspired me to give it a try. And uh, it's certainly one of my favorite games, uh, one of the games I put a lot of time into, uh, just because I enjoy it so much. Um, so I'd like to give a shout out to Splattercat, check out his channel, he does a lot of uh, survival games and uh, turn-based games and like uh, space building games, base building. Um, so check him out, he's got a lot of good information. So what he, uh, what I got from watching his more recent videos, he's just playing through again after, um, for the first time since the last couple patches, is... Uh, I found out that on the harder levels, uh, if you light the flare, uh, you can keep the wolves away from you with the flare um, and throw the flare at them if they're charging you. So um, that inspires me to maybe play it on a harder level um, now that I know that uh, I can survive a little bit better around the wolves with no weapon, uh, but just using the flares, which you usually find pretty commonly. Um, so shout out to Splattercat. So, I'm going to put the fresh stuff on the ground. Drop, drop. Drop, drop. Alright, um... There's really no other crafting I can do right now, so let's take a look at uh oops. Let's take a look at what can be crafted. Um one of the things that is different about this uh redo of the last three three in game days is that uh I didn't get as lost, so I didn't come across the old man's beard like in uh so I can't make those right now. Um, there's no need to make a torch. Made that extra snare, so I'm good on those. Uh, hooks. Fishing tackle. I think I made several fishing tackles. So I'm going to need four rabbit pelts. I don't know if I have two on the ground over there and the two I just put down. Hopefully I can make those very soon and then we'll move on to the next zone. Um, got the pants, got the boots, very nice. Uh, I'm not gonna mess with uh, the wolves right now, even though I did find a rifle. Um, not gonna mess with bears either. So the bow, um, I'd like to make that before we uh, leave this area. So uh, I have that cured maple sapling, uh, or maple sapling curing on the ground. Arrow shaft. Simple arrow. Mm. So, in my inventory, I should have a broken arrow. I don't know where that went. I don't know where I stuck it. I had an arrow. Huh. I wonder where I put that. 
that stinks. So the rabbit pelts, I think I do have four there. So, it's still going to be two more days for that sapling. Well, if the weather cooperates with us, I think we can go just check a couple other spots on the map. Um, yeah, might as well just drop that meat. Not gonna be cooking it right now, and then maybe we'll do some cooking tonight. Um, just drop all that. And then, yeah, let's go for it. Not thirsty, okay. So I am in good shape, I'm not uh, weighed down. I'm in good shape to go and check one or two little spots on the map that uh, I haven't thoroughly explored. Maybe check for uh, check for one of those uh, prepper bunkers. Don't know if that's really worth it though. So the other thing I noticed um, watching Splattercat recently play on uh, the Voyager level. Uh, was not not only that the uh, wolves were you know somewhat more dealable now they weren't spawning in crazy places and looked like uh, when you started the game actually you had a, a day or so's grace period where the wolves hadn't spawned yet um, so it gave you that little buffer at the beginning to at least explore and try to find the rifle. Um, so, um, not only did I find that, um, it does seem like on Voyager level, the, uh, all the meter bars, all these bars uh, go down a lot quicker. Um, you know, I don't know how much quicker, but definitely quicker. Um, than on Pilgrim level, which is to be expected. Wow, that is super fast running. That is like sprinting. Like, like a track star. Oh, I thought... Sometimes when the game like drops a few frames like that, it means uh, something's loading. So, um, often... Sometimes it's an animal. Hmm. Okay. So when I was watching Splatter Cat play, uh, there was a body under here, which I thought maybe I had missed, but no, not in this spawn. So different playthroughs, things spawn in different places. Um, eight hours of daylight left. Really, not a whole lot to do. Um, so one thing we can do hmm, is maybe check for some of the bunkers. I don't know. Yeah, let's just uh, explore some of the edges of the map. I think we did this uh, before. Kind of came down this way. Just kind of trace the outer perimeter of the map. And that will lead us to the uh, trapper's cabin first, I think.
Some unique looking trees. So yeah, that's gotta be the old. Oh yeah, Trapper's Cabin's just over there. But this is poor Max. So yeah, we've definitely uh, been by Max Land. Something was chasing that rabbit. So, this should be west. And maybe we'll just make it over to uh, that little pond with the uh, hunter's bluff that I uh, mentioned before. So yeah, in my re-replay through, I uh, came up here, um, just left a good little, took, took some of the meat that was there, and checked the supplies, and left like a good little starter kit of like uh, two meat and... Uh, like a lantern and a hatchet and a knife and a hat I think just left those over there as a little outpost you could call it so what I'm looking for is this like lonely little pond uh, Edge of the map there, I guess. Huh. Little pond should be over here. Where you at, little pond? This is the way to Trish Drinkle. Yeah, I would not advise running down the sides of mountains or hills, but we made it. Primarily, uh, if you stay straight ahead, you should be okay, but like if you uh, turn your camera or uh, your view side to side at all, as you're going down a hill or a mountain, that's when you bust your ankle. Cool. No branch saplings. It's an odd looking thing. Just a branch. It's like, oh baby, you got what I need. What you say is just a branch. It's just a branch. Okay. Where is this pond at? That's well, good. I found the branch. Branches are always good. Kind of a rare commodity. Strangely enough, those like a sapling sap branches. So where is that? There's a pond. Huh. Again, I would love to find uh, the survivalists bunker or whatever. Apparently, a uh, senior splatter cat was saying that he, you know, he's like did hours and hours of streaming and a whole bunch of playthroughs on YouTube. Uh, he's never found one. He doesn't even know what it looks like. So, I wonder if it's a hatch, like Lost, or I don't know. I don't know what, you, what, to, what to look for. So, that is when uh, the reishi mushroom is something that we can use to make medicine. Which is nice. Maybe I, uh, the, the arrow was something I lost from the previous playthrough. 
But uh, for some reason, uh, I thought you could make arrows at the workbench. But it looks like uh, I'm not seeing that option anymore. It's really weird. Really annoying. If there's not going to be a way to make uh, arrowheads. But you can make everything else. And you can only find like broken arrows and like salvage them or something. That's asinine. So... That really was that. There's, you know, like a hunting blind. And if I kept running in that direction, uh, we'd go back to that uh, forestry overlook tower. So no need to go back up there. I looted that place out. It's kind of isolated, not that useful to hang out at. So. You have really seen pretty much everything that's in this zone. I think there's just those mysterious bunkers that no one's ever seen. So. Replenish my uh, cattail supply. See ya. Uh, even though it's windy and it's cold, see what a big difference the weather makes. Like, I can go out and just confidently, like, explore around and be relatively safe in doing it uh, when the weather is good. Um, but when the visibility is so poor, it's, it's like, super dangerous. You get lost, you can turn around. Um... Yeah. So we get some of that OMB. Nice. So I'll be able to uh, trade skill you another thing for y'all. I suppose it's not really trade skilling. Uh, like in. World of Warcraft or something, it's uh, it's more just crafting. Liking, I'm liking it. So, with the reishi mushrooms, uh, I do believe those can be made into a tea, which works as an antibiotic. So, it's uh, the in-game uh, crafting replacement. Uh, kind of nice. Uh, I don't think I've ever walked up here in the, this walkthrough. But, um, yep, here's a little frozen river. Um, usually nothing around here. But, um, yeah, so the reishi mushrooms you can craft into a tea, which is, works like antibiotics, um, what else? Yeah, I wonder what the deal with the arrowheads is. So one of these paths leads back to the train tracks, one leads to the Hydra Dam, I do believe. Which path have I taken? I do not know. So, we're a little bit tired, a little bit hungry. Six hours of daylight left. Plenty of daylight.
don't really call what spot this is. Couldn't tell you what's over this ridge. Dang! So down there is like the blocking area. Okay. So let us just find our way home, shall we? This is going to overlook the same sort of area. Pretty. Usually when you see surfaces like this, it's not good news. You're like on the edge of a cliff. Which we are. Sometimes you can really get yourself like stuck up a creek. But figuratively, you know, you get yourself stuck up inside of a ledge like this. Oh, look, I can't get it back down. Um, so you gotta get creative. Uh, this is where I came from. I suppose the best thing to do is go this way. Yeah, that was the quick choice for the moment. So apparently this is the correct way to go. <laughs> Is that something useful? Yes, it is. So, still don't know what the rose hips are for exactly. I'm guessing it's another one of the medicine replacements. It's going to be like, uh, I know rose hips have vitamin C in them, so I guess it's going to be like, uh, Oh, hello, are you eating a deer? Ah, I didn't have a rifle anyway. Huh. So we're going to loot all this for a big barbecue tonight. Let's do it. Okay, apparently I'm very thirsty. Four hours of daylight left. Let's get.
some food and drink into us. Hunger. Three hours of daylight left, but we can see the weather's changing. And somewhat burdened. So the rabbits. Please don't turn, turn the ankle. Where did the wolf go, though? That was crazy. Something happened. Somewhere. Oh, wow. You get a deer? Sure did. We are quite tired. We are going to leave the meat. Take the hide and the gut. It's getting dark. So we're heavily laden. for shelter. There we go. He got a little rabbit. So we're gonna go and get one hour of daylight left. Can we do this? Can we do this? Eight minutes. It's definitely getting dark. Okay. It is really dark. This could be a flare situation. Wow. Really hard for me to uh, perceive exactly where I'm at. Basically, just seeing like light spots and dark spots. This is gonna be really hard. You're not gonna be able to see any of this, I'm sure. Kind of point it with the sky a little bit, see if that makes it any brighter for the viewers at home. 
but like now that my eyes have adjusted uh, in the real world not in game uh, once my eyes have adjusted um, and since I know this little small area so well I can actually see you know like landmark rocks and stuff like that so I can tell where I'm heading So I'm walking up to the train tracks right now, walking over the train tracks, kind of just going diagonally to my right from out of that rabbit area, diagonally ahead. So now we've got like just a tiny bit of light from the moon. Which is nice. Glad to have it. But where we were before, the hills and stuff were too high and uh, was down in a little gully or valley, so I was not getting any moon. So here we are. Wasn't able to sprint, but I was walking at an okay, acceptable clip. So, we are going to start a fire. See, like, it's like, what? I can't see nothing. I hate that. I hate that. I hate that. I hate that. Pushing down is drop. I just want to scroll through my items, you know, so we can get cedar, books, these print rolls, that all seems good to me. I actually do not have a lot of uh, fire stuff right now, so. Hmm. Yeah, let's start that fire. And we will cook up everything we can. Cook up that venison. So it's definitely nighttime. Don't really have a lot of wood around. I do want to find... You know what? I'm just gonna use that fire log. You know what I'm saying? Shabam! So yeah. That lasts a lot longer than a... A normal log. A fire log is like some artificial thing full of chemicals and accelerant so it lights really easily, it burns long, it burns hot, it's like what they would have called in the 1950s a science log. The good scientists of the United States of America have finally surpassed nature. They've made a log. A log better than Mother Earth. Can produce. So, 
What did I do? Ooh, I don't like that. So, I am all kinds of not feeling good. Let's take care of that. Definitely want to. Uh, can't. Uh, can't refuel it, huh? Take it. Take the jerry can. <sighs> so we do want to stow as much of this stuff as possible. We do want to refuel. Take some of this junk and make these meat only drawers. What's up there, meaty drawers? Hey, meat drawers. So, I've got one full meat drawer. Uh, 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 two full meat drawers. Uh, uh, uh. And we are going to go ahead and take all this stuff. Going strictly meat, yo. Know. Strictly venison in these drawers. So. This is obscene, the amount of uh, enemy we have. Absolutely full of meat. But we're also going to make a fish pile. Sounds lovely, doesn't it? You know, fish pile, hey. Sapphire is like straight up out, yeah. Don't really have a lot of 63%. 94% It's gonna be a while on them rabbit pelts But I did get a new one, I think What's uh... Whoa Yeah, drop more And uh, 
fish. Dear lower fish get right. Cool. How how light am I feeling? Move it around fairly well. So that's where it is. Cool. So in here we're gonna start to <laughs> Let's put a spare pair of gloves in there. I guess we already got a, a toque in there, I think. Yep. So it's pretty full. We don't really need to eat or drink. We will sleep six hours. Um, it's usually a good thing not to sleep more than six hours in a row. Even if you want to sleep more hours than that total, um, it is still good to wake up and make sure that you're not dying of thirst and hunger in the middle of the night and um, as I mentioned just a few minutes ago if you're playing on more higher difficulties your bars will drop faster so you gotta be careful rest of the hour nice looks like it cleared up So, that is it for now. We are finally caught up to where we were before and beyond. Thank you so much for joining me. If you uh, enjoyed this video, uh, I'd really appreciate it if you uh, like and subscribe. And join me next time for the next episode of my The Long Dark gameplay walkthrough. Thanks for joining me. Spinning Mantis, out. Namaste.